Welcome, my name is Isaac and today we shall play some Xenonauts. For those who do not know what Xenonauts is all about, it's basically a repolished version of an older game for uh, MS-DOS, I believe, um, XCOM. It's, um, yeah, it basically goes in two, two uh, phases, uh, more or less. You have a real-time um, real strategy phase where you are in a geoscape and um, uh, shooting down UFOs basically and then you have the second phase which is a, um, a turn-based strategy game. Um, it's a lot of fun. You'll see what I mean. Um, Alright, new game. Uh, let's put it on normal. Uh, explanatory dialogues, we can... Well, let's leave them on. Iron Man mode, let's put it on. Um, that just means that, you know, we can't go back and use a save, uh, an earlier save point. Uh, so if things go terribly wrong, then uh, we're stuck with that. Alright. Uh, begin game. Okay, so here you see the geoscape, there's some explanatory stuff going on here. Um, well, you can read it if you want, but basically, basically, uh, it's all about first selecting somewhere to put your base. Um, and I'm thinking... Okay, so... Yeah, so the circles you see... Um, they they uh, indicate my radar's coverage, and you see that as we start off, we get the blue circle. That's that's the coverage, but you can upgrade the radars and increase your coverage gradually. What you want to do is cover the most land as possible, but also, more importantly, you want to cover as many different uh, regions here as you as you can, because you get funding based on how many uh, UFOs you manage to shoot down over these regions. So. Uh, Going like this would be kind of bad because then you'd only get these two regions. So let's see, what's a good place? I think right about, I mean, then we can get the Middle East here, we can get North Africa, part of Soviet Union, and Europe. Alright, so if we, we could almost get, no, okay, Greenland is too far away, we're not gonna reach. But we should also think about how our radar uh, coverage is gonna expand. So if you put it, uh, let's see. If we put it like here, we're still gonna cover part of Soviet Union, that, 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 and we have the potential to expand up to Greenland, which is gonna, well, okay, not Greenland, North America uh, is what it counts as in this game. So I think actually right about here would be really good. Then we also cover South of Africa at some point. So let's put our base right there. Northern Africa, well that's a boring name. We shall call it... Um, <laughs> that's a good name. Um, let's just call it... Uh, blah, blah, blah. Mm, nah, I'm bad with coming up with names. Let's call it... Uh, Ah, oh, what the hell, let's call it Fusis. Fusis. Base 1. Base 1. Okay. Alright. Um, what you also see on the Geoscape is a dark patch and a light patch that indicates uh, basically which regions of the Earth are lit up by the sun. And you have these... Mm, Terminator lines, um, yes, they go like that. They make a little S-curve uh, because of the map projection. Anyway, um, yeah, we have a lot of different menus up here to choose from. Um, shall we take a peek here, for instance? This is the base management. We start out with a lot of stuff, actually. There's a radar. Uh, this is a laboratory where we do research. Here we have our hangars. Um, we currently have two 
fighter jets and a uh, and uh, what was it called? No, these these are interceptors. Yeah, but what, what's what's this one referred to as again? Anyway, the, the, the this is the one you use to basically send out your troops to investigate um, the UFOs you managed to shoot down. Here we have research. Um, we have okay. Currently, we're researching alien invasion. Um, we can engineer stuff or build stuff if we have engineers. We have ten engineers. Uh, do we? It looks like it. We just don't have anything to use it on yet because we need to discover uh, blueprints and whatnot to construct the various things. Okay, here we can recruit um, soldiers. Um, we're going to be doing that a lot probably. Soldiers tend to, yeah, soldiers tend to get wounded and yeah, also never return back again. So we're going to be spending a lot of money and time on finding good soldiers. Um, so here we see our current uh, team. And you can basically modify everything apart from the stats. The stats are random, uh, but they will improve uh, during battle. Uh, I could go and uh, rename everybody, but I don't think I'm going to do that. That takes a lot of time. Let's just see what kind of uh, let's see what kind of a stuff we got going on here. Um, all right, uh, this guy's a sniper by default. Um, it's good to have grenades. It's good to have some some people at least with a health pack, but I don't think we need to have. So currently we have, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, four, six, seven, eight. A lot of them have it. A lot of them have this health pack, a med pack. And that's not really necessary. Uh, it, it gives more weight. So let's see, carried weight. See, this is in the red zone, so it's it's gonna slow them down a lot. So let's just not have that. Is there anybody else in the red? Yeah, you are. Uh, you are as well. So that's that's a bit better already. Um, a shotgun, really? Ballistic shotgun. I don't know if that's that's not something that we wanna. It's good to have these grenades though. These are smoke grenades. These are flashbangs. Flashbangs are really good. We can stun aliens with that and get them back. To, uh, recover them for investigation later. Mm. Alive, in fact. Uh, let's see. Snipers are good, though. He better have a lot of accuracy, though. Let's see. Accuracy is 68. Because I don't know if it by default. Yeah, okay. So he should be a sniper. It's pretty good. Um, really? Machine gun? Uh, well, why not? Why not? Uh, it would be nice of you to carry some grenades, say. Maybe one of those and one of those. Do we still... Let's have one more. They can be very useful. But I think we're gonna leave it at that. And, um... Uh, whoops. Okay, so here we can, we can basically equip our interceptors. It's called a dropship. Okay, yeah. And, oh, cool. We can decide how they start up. I think it would be good to have... Well, it really depends on their time units, right? We can't really see their stats in this. That would be nice to sort of be able to see their stats so that we could put them according to who can go the furthest and so on. So I put the ones that can go far in the back. Um, anyway, let's, um, let's see. But basically, what you do a lot is you, you increase the time here, let's see, and then you just wait until you, oh, electrical interference. So that means there's, there's probably some UFOs here, we just can't see them at the moment because of our limited radius. Um, Alright. Okay, so we finished the research, the alien invention. 
<laughs> yeah, you've probably already noticed we're being invaded, Commander, so I won't state the obvious. The situation is bleak. None of the major powers are able to defend their own airspace. Okay, yeah, so it's all up to us, basically. Um, new projects available. High-speed interceptor, a hunter-scout car. Uh, I think the high-speed interceptor... Well, yeah, the hunter-scout car... Mm. Hunter Scout car. Let's see. It can be deployed in battle. It's a longer sight range. It could be useful. Let's do it. Let's do it. Uh, all our scientists are working on that. That's good. Um, let's go back to Geoscape and. Uh, oh yeah, what are our funds actually? Previous month's income. Forecasted change. So hey, this is an important thing to keep your eye on because. Um, well, you want you don't want this to, you know, be negative all the time. That means that you're basically uh, gonna lose funding in the end, and then the game basically ends because you can't afford to hire new soldiers, etc. Uh, currently, that's our balance. It's quite decent. I'm wondering if we should spend it on another interceptor. Uh, we have room for it. We have a hangar for it. Um, not sure though. We could also increase the radar coverage, which is probably what would be a good idea, actually. It's uh, <clears throat> cost 250, upkeep 45. What about the uh, the hangars? And the, the hangars have an upkeep of 5, they're, they're not that... What about these? What kind of upkeep do they have? Uh, what does it say? Should say, right? Maybe they don't really have an upkeep. Maybe it's just the hangers. Where do we dropships? Buy a new plane, okay. Cost. Does it say upkeep here? No? No, it doesn't say. But it costs 100,000, so we have a choice of. So you know what? It's not that. You know, it's not that expensive. We're gonna buy another plane, and um, I think we're also going to buy. Uh, so it takes a while for it to be produced. We're also going to buy a uh, one of these, I think. So radar array. Mm, it's prob might be a smart idea to not put it right next to it because, well, if the base gets attacked, then you know. If, the, if these are all close together, then that would be vulnerable. I'm gonna put one here, maybe. 250, it takes 10 days to build. Uh, could spend another 250. It would be good to have large coverage in the beginning. So how about we do that? How about we do that? I think so, I think so. Uh, but I think I will put the other one there. Yeah, let's do that. And then let's speed up. Let's really speed up things. All right. Uh, center on the UFO. So we detected one. I don't know if it's size. It's small. It's going 14. I don't know if we can. I think we'll be able to. So it's been a while since I played it, but uh, so I don't remember exactly if we can catch up to enough. But we're going to intercept. We're going to use those two. Yeah. And uh, let's see, let's see how it goes. It looks like we're catching up to it. Okay, it landed there. Uh, so yeah, I think we're going to wait a little bit. Uh, let's wait until this line comes up to about... Okay, center and aircraft, I think. But now what I think I want to do is I want to squadron Squad one, no, cancel it. We want to go there with UFO one. Intercept with Charlie. Let's do that. So the reason why I wanted to wait until the um, Terminator line to get a little bit closer to the uh, landing site is because then hopefully by the time uh, our dropship has reached the landing site, it will be day, and you don't want to fight the aliens during the night if you can avoid it. Okay, now I'm just 
Oh no, see, that was what I was worried about. Oh, jeez. Yeah, we're gonna have to... Well, not necessarily return to base. But it might be that they land again. Let's, uh... Let's see. Will they land? Okay, but they're they're going too fast anyway, right? Because that's no location. Return to base. So we've lost we've lost them out of our sight as well. So um, fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, good, 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 good. We got our aircraft. Mm -hmm. And in eight days we'll have a lot more range. We will be extended out to here, I think. And that should make it a lot easier to catch some aliens, some UFOs on our radar. Let's see. Come on, come on. Alright. We've completed the research of this car. Mm-hmm. We can equip it with some Viper rockets. Mm-hmm. Alright, new projects, none, okay. But we do have a high sp the high speed intercept, you know, I think I think we should do that. I think we should. Uh, okay, maybe we should we should produce when it takes 60 40 man days. Well there are no free garage slots. What? What what what? Do we need a garage or something for that? Uh, garage. Let's make a garage then. Mm, I think it would be good to put it right. Hmm. Let's just put it there. Okay, so it's gonna take a while to do all this. Speed it up. Doop de doop de doop. Here we go. It's actually a little bit outside the range. Uh, it's kind of strange. But, anywho, I guess it's just a suggestive range or something. It's flying north, it seems, right? Heading north, yes. So, well, let's try to intercept it anyway. Let's send all three. Oops. Let's see. Yes, it's coming back. Oh. Come on, come on, come on, come on. If we do it over water, it's kind of bad because... Okay, because that's not location. So we lost track of it. We're still gonna head. See if we can find it. So if you shoot them down over water, then you just can't investigate. It sort of just disappears. The UFO crash site just doesn't appear. Um, but you will still get funding. I mean, you will, I would then, in that case, if I shut it down up here, I would get increased funding from Europe. Because that's the closest region to that that, uh, that space. Good. So we're going to intercept. What? What? Squadron one. Select new target. Select aircraft. Yeah, I can't do that one. Okay. There. UFO two. There. Okay. Good. Alright, um, see now what we could do is we could do a, let's do that, let's do a manual um, attack. Mm, it's kind of boring actually, the, I mean, you can see others do the manual attacks, for sure. Uh, it takes time as well, so I'm just going to auto-resolve. The fun stuff is the... Uh, uh, is the engaging them on the ground, engaging the landing sites on the ground. There we go, I think. Predicted change, zero. Okay, I think they got a plus because we, for some reason they were closer or something, I don't know. Uh, yeah. Or maybe they both got a plus because of, and, and yeah, anyway. It should have increased my reputation somewhat. My funding and reputation. Cool. Now you see we've got we've got coverage there as well. It's really good. Um, great. Got the garage. And 
thinking a little bit that when it comes to soldiers, we have eight. But we're probably going to lose some, so the idea is that we need backup soldiers. Um, is this a recruitment? Isn't this manners? Hire soldiers, there we go. Let's see if we can find some good ones. Hmm. Hit points are good to have, but you also want the uh, time units. I think that's this TUS. Uh, strength, accuracy. Accuracy is also very good though. Um, ooh, strength. This one has. This one looks pretty good. Brian Powell. Let's go with Brian Powell. And this guy actually. This guy is pretty good. Uh, or Anna, I guess she's a girl. Um, and let's go with this one. Yes, yes. Let's do that. So now they will not arrive immediately, I think. Or will they? Nope, they don't arrive immediately. They'll take a few days to arrive, I think. Uh, but. Oh, we already have two that are unassigned. Okay, anyway, then we have a lot of soldiers. We have more than we need at the moment. It is always good to be prepared. Awesome! Uh, center on your flow, center on your Okay, we're, we want to consider this one. It's small. Intercept with our interceptors. Oh, let's do it, let's do this. Come on, let's get them overland. It's overland! Yes! Auto resolve. Select new target. I think it's too far away, but we can anyway head towards it and just see what happens. Also, this is so close that we can reach the site before it gets dark, so let's do that. Um, you get money for doing that, but this is a lot more fun. Let's do it. I mean, you want to do this eventually, because otherwise you're not going to be able to discover things. And Oh, this is... So I was going to say this is a close one, but... We're still in fuel, okay, let it go back. Uh, oh boy, yes, we did it. We did it, we did it. So, I could engage now, but I think I'm going to um, leave that for next time. Alright, see you then.